Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through exactly how to make a simple sign-up form in MailChimp. By the end of this video, you'll know how to build a clean, effective form that you can share anywhere to start collecting contacts and growing your audience, even if you're brand new to MailChimp or online forms. So let's dive in and start from the beginning. First up, open up your browser and head over to MailChimp. Just log into your account. Don't worry if this is your first time, MailChimp's interface is pretty friendly once you get used to it, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. Once you're in, you'll see a menu on the left. Click where it says Campaigns. Campaigns are basically where MailChimp organizes anything you create to bring in and engage your contacts, emails, ads, forms, all that stuff. Now look for the Create button usually near the top right. Give that a click, it's your starting point for anything new in MailChimp. You'll be shown a bunch of options, but for what we're doing today, you want to choose Sign Up Form. This is what lets you make a form people can fill out to sign up for your list or newsletter. There are different ways to share forms in MailChimp, but I recommend picking Embedded Form for a simple, flexible option. An embedded form lets you paste it anywhere you want, your website, blog, or even a landing page. It's kind of like building a universal guestbook for your audience. Now you'll be prompted to name your form, Try something descriptive like membership sign-up or whatever fits your purpose. This is just for your reference so don't stress too much, but it does help you stay organized as you create more forms in the future. Once you've given it a name, click Begin. On the left side of the screen, you'll see options to add form fields. This is the fun part. Think about what information you actually need from your subscribers. At minimum, most forms have an email address field, but you can add more like first name, last name, or whatever else makes sense for your group or organization. If you're not sure, ask yourself. Which details will help me connect with and serve these people best? Just drag in or select the fields you want to include. For each field you add, you'll notice there's an option to mark it as required. If you set a field as required, people won't be able to skip it when signing up. So for example, if you absolutely need someone's email, make sure to check that box. But be selective, making too many things required can sometimes scare people away, so only ask for what you really need. Take a moment here, it's worth getting this part right. Now, before you publish your form, check your settings. This includes making sure it's connected to the right audience, customizing the confirmation messages if you want, and looking over any other preferences. One thing MailChimp sometimes does is add a small referral badge at the bottom of the form, especially for folks using the free or essentials plan. If you're on the essentials plan and don't want that branding showing on your form, right here is where you can turn it off. Once everything looks good, go ahead and hit continue. And you're done just like that, you've made a simple, effective sign-up form in MailChimp. From here, you can copy the embed code and add it to your website or share it as needed. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to see more tutorials like this. And don't forget to subscribe, I post new step-by-step -step guides every week to help you make the most of your digital tools. Thanks for watching and good luck with your new sign-up form.